For this problem, it's asking for each call to the following method indicate what console output is produced. We're first passed through 13 into our public void mystery 2. So there's going to be no return, which means that we are just going to look at what happens inside the method. Our first if statement is if our number passed in is over is greater than 100. Since our number is greater than 100, it's just asking us to print out that number. So the first answer is 113. Next, we have the number 7. So our if statement is not going to be applicable right now. And we're going to have a recursion issue right here. It's asking us to pass in the number and multiply it by 2. So we're going to have 2 times 70, which is going to be 140. We are going to pass that back into our method. And we're going to notice that it's greater than 100. So we're just going to print out that number. But we have this right here. So what we need to do is we need to go back through. And we have our base case. So our base case is going to be 140. We need to go back through our code. And once we are back to where we were, we can print out this comma 70 for the end. So that means our answer is just going to be 140 comma 70. Now we're passed through the parameter 42. That's going to be in our else statement first. And we're going to have mystery 2 times n. So that's going to be 82, 84. So we have 84. And then we are going to go back in here. 84 is still less than 100. So we need to go back into our else statement. That means we are going to multiply it by 2 again. And we are going to get 168. Put it back into our method and we can now see that it is greater than 100 so we're just going to print out our number which is 168. We need to go back into our code though to finish it since we have this part right here. Going backwards we're going to have 168. Now we're back at this line so we're going to print out a comma and then the current number which was 84. Now we need to go back through this code. So from 84 we had 42 but we also had this comma before it so we're going to have comma and then the number which was 42. So our answer is just going to be this. Next we're passing the number 30. After we look into our else statement because it is less than 100. We are going to have 30 times 2 so we're going to have 60 which gets passed into our method. It's still less than 100 so we're going to multiply by 2 again. It's going to give us 120. We're going to go back into the method and that's greater than so we're going to go into our if statement so we're just going to print out 120. After we print out 120 we need to go back into our code because we still have lines underneath our recursion part. We're going to have 120 and then we also have a comma and then n. Currently the n value was 60. Now we have to go back through this part and we look our we have comma and then our current n value which was 30. So this is going to be the answer for this part. Our last parameter is 10. I'm going to look at our else statement because it is less than 100. So we're going to have a recursion. So 2 times our number 10, which is 20. We're going to have 20 right here. It's going to go back into the method. Still less than 100, so we're going to have 20 times 2, and that's 40. Go back into the method. Still less than 100, so we're going to have 20 times 4. We're going to have 2 times 40, which is 80. It's going to go back into the method, and we're going to have 2 times 80. And that's 160. And that's going to go back into the method. And that is going to hit our base case. So we are just going to print out 160. Now we need to go backwards. So we need to finish this method. We need to finish this else statement. So we have 160, we have a comma, and then our current n at the time, which was 80. Now that we've reached that, we have to go back through here. We're going to have a comma, our current number at the time, which was 40. Back there, comma, our current number, and then back here. And we're going to have 10. This is going to be our answer. More correct way to look at this is if we actually put our 10 right here. That's going to be first. I guess the better way to write this out would be this. And then we multiply by 2, so we pass into 20 here. And then we get our 20 here. And we're going to multiply by 2, and that's going to get us a 40 here. 
and then 40 goes back here and that's going to give us an 80 up here and then we're going to have an 80 down here and that's going to give us our 160 up here so we can see that we start with the 160 we have to go back to 80 start with the 80 go back to 40 and then 40 to 20 and then 20 to 10.